Hello, welcome to video 4. What is the material? The multiply node. I'm going to go ahead and let me pull up my example here. Let me pull it up in my map and apply it. And what we're going to see is this darker red heart inside of a darker red outlined box. And what we're doing is we're using this multiply node here and these textures to create that. So, if you actually take your multiply node, which can be accessed by right clicking and typing in multiply, it's in your math section, you're going to get this node here. Now it's going to have two inputs, both of them are constant values, and it's going to have an output of the result. These constant values can be positive or negative. They do not have to be a 0 to 1 range, they can be greater. And this is a good way of getting a glow effect, for example, it, because when you go past a 1 for a value and it's plugged into your missive, it ends up kind of giving a glow. Now, if we only have one input hooked up, let's say this white one here, and we're multiplying by B1, we're going to get the same result as our input. We're taking our input, multiplying it by 1, and normal math, of course, you're going to get the same output. If we multiply it by 0.5, for example, we're going to get half, which means we're going to get a more of a gray color. So, multiply is generally used if you want to brighten or darken colors and textures, and it's also a great way to kind of add textures together. So let's say we have this white box, and we have this red heart. But if you notice, this red heart has a red, a lighter red background. If we multiply these together, we're going to end up getting this for the result. We're going to get our red heart, and then we're going to get this white background applied with it as well. But where it was white in the original image, we're going to see this more of a pinker color, because we have our pinker color here. And then see how we have pink on the outside. It's red because we're multiplying this pink times a gray, and we're going to end up darkening this red. So you can think of multiply as a way to kind of combine two textures, if you want, two together, and end up getting a result. Now the multiply doesn't have to take a texture. It can take an individual channel, or it could take individual nodes here. Like for example, if I was to take and put this into my emissive, we're going to have a zero times a 1, and of course it's going to give me black, because 0 times anything is going to give 0, and 0 is black. But if we were to change this, let's say we change this to a 5. We have a 5 times 1, which is going to give us an overblown white, which is going to give us a glow effect. And keep in mind, it doesn't have to be texture, a constant, it can be a constant 3, for example. So let's say we could take a constant 3, and let's give it a blue color. Let's go ahead and multiply that blue color times 5. And now we're going to get this blown out blue glow. So using the multiply node is a great way of getting a emissive glowing texture by just taking an input color and multiplying it by another value greater than 1. And you're going to go ahead and get a soft glow effect. So that is our multiply texture, sorry, multiply node. It's pretty simple. Basically, like I said, its intention is to brighten or darken colors and textures. And it's a great way to basically combine two textures into one output texture for your material. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.